Thank you. Agenda item 7C, service contract for the LogistCAD system. Mr. Weeks. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Need approval and a signature to renew our uh, contract with logistic systems that uh, supports our computer-aided dispatch system. Be glad to answer any questions. Any questions for Mr. Weeks? Is there any change in the budget? Oh, this is a contract for how long? I'm sorry. Uh, this is the annual renewal. Just the annual renewal. Yes, sir. And it was a budgeted item. Danny, can you describe what this system actually does? I can. Um, the computer-aided dispatch is just what it says. It's a tool that we use within the dispatch center. It's integrated with AT&T when we answer a telephone call. It comes up and populates that screen and gives us the caller's name, address, uh, phone number, and uh, it has a lot of tools that we use. It uh, gives us recommendations on what agency or agencies we should dispatch on that call based on the type of call that it is. Uh, it helps us to track the officers. It shows us any previous histories that might be associated with that particular address. Uh, very, very powerful tool that's used for every single call we answer. Mr. Chairman, I had a question uh, yes. just regarding, um, I guess, the, the overall system. I know we're uh, hoping to get a possible upgrade in the future. Um, I guess during the course of these last couple of months, I've seen uh, a number of different type of IT type of things for, I guess, the 911 center. Is there one type uh, or, uh, or one type of solution that could fit all or or maybe that's what's going to come with this upgrade or what have you? There are some solutions that uh, promise to integrate everything. That has not been our finding. Um, now, the, the computer-aided dispatch system, there are a lot of vendors that offer a system that does a very, very similar job to what our system does. Um, I particularly like the system that we have for two reasons. One, it's what we've had for a long time, and everybody is extremely familiar with the system and there's a lot of training involved with going to a new system. But uh, probably five or six years ago, Logistics Systems partnered with uh, Ezra, which is the leading mapping uh, software in the world. And uh, they were the first CAD system to partner with the, uh, that agency and with the data that we get from the regional commission that supplies all of our mapping data, uh, we are state of the art now as far as our ability to go in and, and plot addresses and uh, have you know good recommendations on where we're sending our public safety responders. That's one of the most powerful parts of our particular CAD system. I guess I'm just saying it because I, I think like every month or every other month we have a different 911 type of software to purchase and that's, that's why I'm kind of just inquiring on it. Well, uh, we recently upgraded our telephone system uh, from through AT&T. That was the last upgrade and that system had been in place since 1993. So that was the first time it had been uh, a significant upgrade since that time. There, of course, have been some software upgrades. Uh, what you may be referring to is, you know, every year or two, there are some different software upgrades that we go through for the other different systems. Recently, we went through a Motorola uh, request. That's just a, a recurring annual contract that provides us support for any new uh, software that may become available and also supports all the licensing for that system. But that's all I have, Mr. Mr. Probably Chairman, also what you're, what you're seeing is it's going into a, a, a new budget year as well. All of these service contracts and these sort of things, of course, are on that schedule as well. So you're seeing them come up for renewal. Yeah. And, and I guess that's what I was kind of like getting to. If, yeah. if it, is, it, is it some type of, you know, not say one size fit all, but some type of package that we could approve, I guess, at the beginning of the year? that will cover all of these, I guess. Yeah, I think that's really where the heartburn comes in, is, is that there is no one thing fits all of it when we get into IT issues anymore. I know just from as a small business owner, we have to look at every kind of different piece of software and then licensing and rights to use and, and all of those sort of things. And then service agreements on just about everything that we have is, is diverse. And, and I don't come up too often, but one reason you've been seeing me so much lately is because we have tried to line those up so that they run with our uh, annual budget for the county. And uh, we're trying to get all this done right around one time. But uh, as far as I know, I won't be back for a while. <laughs> <laughs> we'll miss you then, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Weeks. 